Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, welcome to Roverland. This is a one off Wednesday. I got some exciting things for one off Wednesdays coming up. So stick around, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook to Roverland. So, uh, because of my friends, I, I think they're my friends, and <laughs> I hope I'm more than just a customer, but anyway, because of my buddies over at the Fox Valley Diecast Club over in Nina, which I go to every month, um, my buddies pulled through for me, and I am so excited because this is just fantastic. So, first off, a big shout out to my buddy, Dustin, because he was able to find two of these, and man, oh man, they, it's unbelievable. Are you ready for it? But bam Check this out. Matchbox Moving Parts, the 1975 Range Rover. Yes, check it out. This is in that goofy packaging. And uh, man, oh man, he came through and uh, got me two of these. Yes, he found them in the store. And uh, just awesome, just awesome. This is a brand new casting from Matchbox. And it is a moving parts vehicle. This is great. This is grand. Look at the back end. What details we've got. Beautiful um, yellow. It's almost like a mustard yellow, almost like a camel trophy yellow. I don't know if the camera really picks that up so well, but uh, opening hood. It's uh, just awesome. Look at the details on the front. Just great. Just awesome. Yep, that's what I paid, and uh, he just takes care of me. And it is great. Let's take a look at the back real quick here. 1975 Range Rover, the two-door classic. So we'll just kind of slowly go through this. And uh, if you want to pause it, you can go ahead and pause it and take a look. All right. So I just, I just am just over thrilled uh, by these finds. Uh, these are very hard to come by. And now these are only second market unless you can find a store that has these hanging on the pegs, peg warmers, which I doubt, I doubt. Um, now you guys know that in the uh, Midwest, on uh, Midwest Wisconsin, you know that uh, I am like the last area in the world. Not, I'm not kidding, I'm not being sarcastic. We are the last area, Midwest Wisconsin, to get things. And I've been around looking a little bit here and there. Um, and the moving parts are always like empty. There was one time I went to a Walmart and they had a bunch of, I don't know, Camaros or um, uh, Corvettes. I can't remember, but uh, they had a lot of them. Otherwise, these pegs are empty. So I was just ecstatic when he had uh, he had a pile for me because he knows uh, uh, I you know collect and I'll, I'll pay up front for him and stuff like that. So he had a, a pile of stuff and we'll we'll look at that in uh, unboxing video from the uh, Nina Diecast Club. So we got two of them. So you know what that means, right? Well, that means that we've got another surprise. <laughs> My buddy Travis, he had on his table sitting there. Hey, yeah, look, Travis, you got one too. So I bought it from him. So I got three of them. Now this one has got a little bent card. So, you know, and I got three of them. So you know what that means. Yes, sirree. I am excited about this. We are going to be able to open this. And uh, yeah, just awesome. So let me get this off to the side here. Like I say, I hold down over my hand, down over the counter. You can look at the nice display and those nice cards there. So I run the uh, razor blade right up alongside. Hopefully I don't cut myself. 
which you know I'm pretty good with the box cutter. All right, so let's get this bugger open. Once again, moving parts, brand new stuff. This is a new casting for um, Matchbox this year. Uh, trademarked their uh, 2022. So this is brand spanking new. All right, let's just lower down here just a little bit to get the, the full effects here. Sorry about that. All right, let's get this open. So uh, you can see that it comes in a plastic carriage. Let's just take a look at the packaging. I know you guys love the packaging. So that's what it is, a road with like a bridge there. There's a little water back over there. So really kind of cool. There's the nameplate that goes on the bottom of the car. And uh, that is awesome. And you can see that it is encased in a beautiful protective um, plastic holder. Oh, I just, I just, oh, I can't believe it. Can you sniff it? Oh, that smells great, doesn't it? All right, I carefully take the, and these are my favorite uh, wheels from Matchbox too. And there goes the hood. There goes the hood. Yeah, it just shut so nicely. Very, very nicely. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got and what we're looking at here today. Oh man, this is sweet. This is glorious. Isn't it grand? It's got side tampos to it. Let me get my uh, pointer out here. Uh, side tampos. There's a, a, a silver, I don't know what's that supposed to be really there. They, they had a vent on the door. So there's no doorknob, but there is that vent. It's, oh, that's where the doorknob was. That's right. That's where the doorknob was. And in incest, incest. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, recessed. That's it. <laughs> recessed body panel. Sorry about that. I've been tripping over my words lately. Uh, very, very cool tan interior. Um, this has got, this is a uh, right hooker. Yes. Let's just take a look at that right hooker. Uh, because these were not imported to the United States. Rear back seat to it, split window. So these were not imported to the United States. They didn't uh, come this way to the States. They were four doors by that time. Uh, beautiful wheels. Like I say, I like these. These are not the low profile, which the old old ones, um, some of the 110s had. Uh, the black, uh, what is that? The, the C-pillar. Very, very nice. Wrap around ta uh, tail lights. Very, very uh, accurate tail lights there. Range Rover right across the back with the tailgate uh, there. Now, this is very nice. I, I, I've got to say, folks, I, we're going to just take a peek. Look at that. Look at that. They ha were able to get rid of, look all the way through. You can see all the way through that vehicle. There's no post. So they did the post on the extreme ends. And even with the opening part, they were able to do that. Uh, while we're back, uh, back up underneath here, very, very good depiction of the Range Rover Classic. Yes, very nice. V8, so it has a Y pipe there to a silencer in the middle. 1975 Range Rover. I just can't wait to see more of this vehicle, but very, very nice. So two posts, both metal up front and in the back. So back to the back again. We've got the uh, Land Rover badge there to the left. Range Rover across the tailgate, the back uh, rear hatch. Uh, is blacked out like it was uh, kind of distracting with that big uh, yellow uh, on on the interior of the glass there but hey what can you do but you can see that rear post there is just big I mean that's big enough I mean it shouldn't come apart you know but the yellow white and red turn signals and brake lights and uh, uh, backup lights great here is the uh, indented rear um, uh, gas cap. Very, very nice black there. Um, yes, just very nice and clean. Very good. It's got mud flaps on it on the back, not, not on the front, but that's kind of goes. The top is the traditional. Oh man, look at those casting <laughs> boo boos on there. Wow. 
but man, uh, just a flat, flat roof, just like they were. A couple ribs to reinforce. Wipers on the hood. And uh, kind of, uh, part of them are the metal. The arms that go to the body are metal, but then the window is got them molded in the window. So it's kind of neat. Very nice uh, detailing there. Um, so let's go around to the front. Oh yeah, look at that. That is nice. Very, very cool. Very awesome. Oh yeah, Range Rover across the, the clam sh shell hood. Tail, uh, the head uh, turn signals up front, marker lights, yellow. Nice headlights, nice black grill, traditional black grill. I don't know how many lines, uh, uh, vents there are. Uh, license plate holder underneath, very nice. Discreetly hides that rivet, not a big bulky thing there, but very, very nice. And now this is an early model, so it had the uh, rear view or side mirrors on the hood. So yeah, you had to, if you were driving, you had to get your walking cane out and adjust it or have a good friend uh, adjust it for you. Uh, so really kind of cool there. All right, let's get to the hood, the moving parts. All right, I'm gonna back up here just a little bit and you can see this. This is kind of, kind of disappointing. Um, I'm gonna take a look back here at this one here this is a little bit different color. Um, I think you guys can maybe pick that out. Maybe not. Um, but uh, yeah, the this is this color here is more the color of the hood. And I, I wish I could kind of show that better to you, but not. Um, this one here is kind of really a faded paint job on it. On the sides of it, it's almost, uh, you can almost see the the primer and paint in it. But uh, yeah, it, really faint and it not matching the hood color. Once again, that hood color is like a mustard yellow, kind of like the Camel Trophy. So, wow, just kind of, uh, kind of a disappointment there in uh, matching that hood with the, the body. So you can hear, that is a metal hood. That's not plastic. That is a metal hood and uh, very, very nice. But obviously this hood is painted somewhere else and then they put it onto the body because they were not even close with the, the color scheme. It's like, wow, guys. So just a big negativity there on that, uh, you know, wow, just unbelievable. Uh, let's see if we can get that hood. That hood was open quite a bit. So there you go. You can kind of see inside there. Oh, I lost my flashlight. I had a flashlight here that I can uh, kind of show in there so you can see it. But it's a nice, nice V8 engine in there. Yep, they had the uh, Buick V8 Special that they bought from Buick. The all aluminum block, aluminum heads. And that's what they you're using and very, very nice detail. Now that is the tan plastic that is the tan uh, interior. So very, very nice. Awesome, awesome piece. I am just ecstatic. This is awesome. This is cool. I can't wait to get more. Uh, I wish that Hot Wheels or excuse me, that Matchbox would do more. Um, uh, bigger cases or send more cases to to stores because these are very hard to get a hold of and uh, just yeah just very just a very hard um, if you remember uh, they did they did this uh, yellow one in the movie parts with the the series 3 the 1965 um, with the opening doors I was able to get a couple of those, that one there and one in the package. And then they did a recolor, a red one, and I only been able to find one red one. And I think I had to buy that one off eBay. So yeah, Matchbox, if you're watching, yeah, send this stuff out, man. Quit making all those other cars and, and make some more Land Rovers because, you know, man, we need them. All right, that's it for a one of Wednesday. A big shout out to my friend Dustin and Travis. And the Diecast Club, you guys are awesome. 
Uh, yeah. Keep your eyes out. Buy every one you can, guys. <laughs> All right, this is your friend Dano, and remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.